Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, my guest today is a hard-working lass who's uh, really, really hard-working. Uh, one of the team from uh, the Luton Irish Forum. Uh, now, they are very busy preparing for the big St. Patrick's festivities, which are going on this uh, coming weekend, and indeed uh, uh, doing some stuff also on St. Patrick's Day. But the, uh, uh, the weekend uh, is jam-packed with uh, loads and loads of activities. And I'm delighted to say hello to uh, Liz O'Halloran from the Luton Irish Forum. Liz, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. How are you, Jerry? Not bad at all. Liz, tell me yes. this. You're, you're, you're back with the bang for the, the, the festivities for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, albeit uh, two years, you've uh, the, the, there's been nothing regrettably. Yes, unfortunately, yeah. Um, so we've been working very hard now to um, try and come back and paint the town green now this year. We did try our best last year with an on, online um festival um but yeah we're looking forward now to putting on a, a big show for you over the weekend indeed now uh, tell us what you've got to, you've got going there's loads and loads of things for i think everybody in every age group yes yes certainly so um we have kind of um we're starting off on saturday at st joe's um in gardenia avenue we've got uh gaa matches going on gaelic football so we've got um lots of teams from luton um pitching against each other so um it kicks off at one o'clock so if anybody's interested to come down and and see the youngsters now play play one of the ireland's greatest sports that would be lovely um and then um we've actually got a trad band playing in St. Joseph's Parish for an hour or two um, Saturday evening. So um, if anybody likes tra- traditional music, then we've got that on at St. Joseph's as well. And then on Sunday itself, we have our regular parade that everybody looks forward to. So um, that kicks off from Luton Irish Forum at 12 o'clock. Um, and that goes through the town and ends up um, past the town hall and then on to Market Square, where we have a stage and we have um, some Irish dancing and some live acts. Um, This year we've got Tracy McCauley and we've got um, John McNicholas um, uh, performing live on stage. Um, And then uh, we've introduced something else new, where we have what's called our after party for maybe some of the younger um, members of our audience to go into the hat factory and listening to some maybe more kind of rock kind of Irish music um, and that's free of charge as well and then on St Patrick's Day itself we're down at Celtic Club in Luton um, where we are providing uh, soup and soda bread and some um, traditional Irish music and Irish dancing for our members of the Luton Irish Forum. So, yeah, we've got a, a fun but busy packed week ahead of us. Indeed, so uh, certainly lots of things happening. And uh, indeed, on the, the Sunday you kick off, you've actually got the, the Sean O'Ree of the Mass at 9.30 as well. Oh, we have indeed. Yes, we have indeed. Yes, that kicks off at half past nine, I believe. Yes, yes. Um, and then we've, we've, we've put our parade back an hour, so that gives people a chance to actually go to the Mass and then make it back into town for the parade. Yes, I did the parade. Yeah, the parade is starting at uh, 12 o'clock rather than... Uh, 12 o'clock, yeah. 11, I did. Yours truly doing the emceeing indeed on the, the, the main stage, the outdoor stage, uh, and uh, as well as John McNichol, Tracy McCauley, there's also uh, uh, Killian McGoldrick, the Irish uh, Dancing World Champion uh, ships finalist. Uh, also, there's uh, traditional Irish music there as well. Brian Burke and friends, and uh, uh, loads of loads of other things happening. And then, of course, you've got the Mal indoor stage with our, our good friend Jim Carway, uh, together with uh, uh, numerous uh, other acts happening in there as well. Yes, we have. So we've got various Irish dancing um, schools taking part. Um, we've got a young at heart choir taking part. Um, we've got a, a country pop singer called Olivia Lynn. Um, she's only 16 years of age, but she's very talented. So uh, she'll be making an appearance as well in the mall. Um, we've got Luton Ukimaniacs, which is a local ukulele band. Um, and we have more Irish dancing. And we have the Galway Tr- Sligo Trad Group as well, finishing us off. Um, 
and Cardinal Newman, they've offered for their students to come along and they're going to be playing a steel pan group. So um, lots of different things now happening this year. Excellent. Absolutely superb. And uh, it, it seems like a, a you know, great lineup, but lovely to, uh, because I remember the, uh, the, you know, the, the disappointment with uh, everybody uh, from uh, two years ago when the, the event had to be cancelled within quite literally days. Yes, it was. It was disappointing for everyone. I don't think people quite understood just how much work goes into a festival like this. Um, we've only got a small selection of staff. We heavily rely on volunteers to help with the planning and um, the execution of the festival itself. So um, it was really heartbreaking that we had to make the decision. But um, it was a tough one. But um, on hindsight now, it was the right one to do for everyone's for everyone's safety. Indeed. But um, but yeah, no, we're, we're firing on all cylinders now this year to hopefully come back bigger than better um, and hoping to paint the town green. Great stuff. Listen, it sounds, <laughs> sounds like a great event, Liz. Uh, listen, well done to yourself and the rest of the crew involved. And uh, listen, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on, uh, on, on Sunday. Lovely to speak to you, Liz. Thank you very much. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing everyone too. Thank you.